In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix EA Sports FC25 crashing at startup error on PC or laptop. So in case your game is crashing while you're trying to start it up and open it up, here's how we can fix it. Now, the first thing we're gonna do before anything else, we're gonna close down Steam completely. And not just by clicking this X button, but also removing it down here in, inside more programs, right clicking on Steam and clicking Exit Steam. It will say shutting down Steam, and that's the first thing we gotta do. Once that's done, you wanna right click to your taskbar and click Task Manager. In here, you wanna go to the top middle where there's this search option and type in Steam. Make sure nothing is in here. So in case it doesn't say and it says no filter results, that means you're good and Steam has been completely shut down. In case Steam does come up in here, you wanna simply Click on Steam and press End Task up here, and this will close down Steam completely. Then the next thing you wanna do is search for Steam inside your computer. So you wanna go to search here in Windows, look for Steam, right click on it, and then press Run as Administrator. Now it may ask you for your admin pin, and then it will start logging you into your account. And this is actually the first and the most crucial step that will most likely help you to fix this issue, okay? So once this is waiting for network and it will start logging in, as you can see right now, we're gonna proceed on. There we go. Steam will open up. What you want to do in here is then go to your library, look for your FC25 game. So as you can see, I don't have it installed on this uh, Steam account. However, it doesn't matter. Just do what I'll say. Click on the game and then press play button via Steam itself. Don't launch it via your desktop, but try via Steam itself and see if that works. Now, if that didn't work, there's more things we can do in here. What you can do is come over here where there's this library and look for your FC25 game. Then right click on it here. I'm gonna show you the once human game because it's the exact same procedure. You just have to basically do it with your FC25 game. Now right click on it and press properties. In here, what you first have to do is go inside installed files and down here where it says verify this game's files are installed correctly, you wanna click verify integrity of game files. Steam will then scan through all your files regarding EA Sports FC25, and if there's any kind of bad damaged files, it will automatically replace these in just a few minutes, and then if you try running the game again, it will probably work for you as it should, okay? So that's the first thing you can do inside the Steam client itself. If that didn't work, what you can do is press browse up here, so yet again, go in, into installed files and press browse up here. Click on this, and this will open up your kind of documents, okay? As you can see, it will open up a folder, and inside this folder, what you wanna do is look for the exe file that runs the game. So, as you scroll down here, you will find an exe file. For me, it says once human exe. It will probably say EA Sports FC25 exe, or something like this. So, look for it. If you can't see these extensions, you wanna click on view up here, and then show, hover over show, and then check file name extensions, which will enable these file name extensions. Then look for the program, which is .exe, and basically has this kind of FC25 logo on it. And then what you have to do here is right click on it and press show more options. Now inside here, you wanna press properties and it will open up this properties window. Then what you have to do is go inside compatibility and then click over here where it says compatibility mode, run this program in compatibility mode four and then press Windows eight, okay? In here, you also want to disable full screen optimizations and run this game or this program as an administrator. Once you've done this, simply press apply and okay. And what you then should do is try running the game via here. So double click on that exe file and it will launch up your game basically inside Steam, okay? But just via your computer, not via this button over here. This will probably fix your issue if nothing up till now didn't, okay? So in case for some reason it's still not working, there's one more fix we can try for this to work, okay? Close this down, yet again close this down, find your FC25 game over here again, right click on it and press properties. In here, under general, you will see launch options over here. It says advanced users may choose to enter modifications to their launch options. What you wanna do is in here is type in dash 
DX11, okay? So this is the first thing you can try, then close this down and launch the game. If that didn't work, you can try the exact same thing with Dash DX12. Then yet again, launch it and see if it works. If it for some reason still didn't, do Dash D3D11, okay? And tr see if that works. So those are all the three options you can do. And also what usually helps with crashes is if you disable the in-game Steam overlay and you do this over here by turning this off in case it's on over here. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the fixes there are. And hopefully one of these fixes will work for you and help you launch your FC25 game. So I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.